What's up, Resto Mods Nation? We are here with your 69 Dodge Charger RTSE. We are giving this thing away. I don't want to. I can't believe it. Such a crazy car. It's so fun to drive. Somebody's going to be super lucky. Now that we got a few people on here, we're going live to let you know that we are giving away this car, and right now we're doing double entries, which means when you sign up for the Resto Mods Car Club, you're going to get 20 entries as opposed to the normal 10 to win this car. We're giving it away in less than a month. The, the end date is April 30th, and then 10 days after that, we're gonna call a winner. But right now, we are doing double entries. Anything you buy in our shop will get you two entries for every dollar you spend. Um, we wanted to walk around to this car, give you a look at it. We'll take you for a little bit of a ride because Hey, it's a it's a good today's Wednesday. Yeah, why not? Today's a good Wednesday. Why not? Why why not ride around in a '69 a '69 Charger? Check out underneath the hood on this thing. Our master mechanic right here. Maybe we should kill the engine. Can you guys hear us? <laughs> we'll kill the engine and we'll walk you through some of the details on this thing. So we just turned off the electric cutouts. Uh, you obviously hear the difference in the sound of the car. Um, check this thing out. This is a period correct 440. As far as I'm walking through <laughs> what this thing is. It's a big block. You're looking at a, a big block. Um, it, uh, this thing's been bored and stroked to over 500 cubic inches. Indy cylinder heads. Everything polished on it. Eddie Motorsports front accessory drive. So we got the serpentine belt, air conditioning. Um, I mean, nice polished big radiator, dual electric fan. Bitech EFI. So I know you can't see it because it's under the air filter, but Bitech EFI unit on this. Um, this thing dyno to almost 600 horsepower to crank. So hopefully you guys uh, this, appreciate the big block Mopar power. This thing is insane. Uh, everything's been polished. It not only looks good, it performs insanely. It has did 560 foot pounds of torque. Yeah, it's got a ton of torque. It's got big block torque. Um, it does it at low RPM too, so it's super fun to drive. Um, yeah, so everything ha has been upgraded on this thing, but it drives like a modern car. Starts up, the EFI makes sure that it starts up on a, even on cold starts really easily. We got. So much going into this car. Our master mechanic actually took this thing all the way apart and put it back together. Um, when we sent it off to paint, it's got brand new paint on it. Check this thing out. You can see it shine in the sun right here. We're looking right here at the American Racing Wheels. Behind there, you have Willwood disc brakes. We just upgraded those to uh, uh, six pistons. We wanted to upgrade the performance a little bit on them. Uh, Bro, Bro Bison, this is the second time we've been asked what the miles per gallon are. It's, it's not about miles per gallon. This thing's about miles per gallon. It doesn't do, it, it's th a thirsty car. It definitely drinks, but it puts out a ton of power, okay? But these brakes, we just upgraded. It had Willwood disc brakes all the way around to begin with, but in the front, we, w we went with the six pistons instead of the four pistons to make sure that it had all the stopping power it needed. It's definitely important as we do upgrades to the power on this car that we also upgrade everything around. Yes, this is the second charger we've ever given away. Uh, if you followed us about a year ago, we gave away a, a another black 69 charger uh, to Ronald Gear in Missouri. The guy's loving the car. He jumps on every once in a while and it's, it's awesome. Uh, you wanna see the trunk? We'll, we'll have to pull the keys, but let us show you a couple more things. It does have the flip up headlights. The vacuum tubes have been replaced on those with motorized ones so that they're more reliable, more consistent. We have that Charger RT badge. This is an original RT. We have the original order sheet from the, from the dealership. So you have the RT, that's the only RT badging. The only thing left over from the SE package is these, uh, the, the blinker lights and the hood scallops, the blinker lights, probably not the technical term for it. Um, everything is fresh on this car. It's been updated. This fuel tank thing looks great, but 
We put a lot of modern touches. Is that not satisfying? Yeah. Do it one more time. This thing, I love it. This is a factory fuel cap, but they nailed it on these small parts, man. All those little touches are cool. So, one of the updates we did do, we didn't do much to the back end of this thing. You still have the flying buttresses off the back. It's, you know, signature. But we did update the tail lights to be a bit brighter. We put LEDs. Right now they're running on sequentials, uh, sequential mode, but there's another mode for that. I know a lot of people have said that that's technically a, a Ford thing. Uh, kinda, yeah. I mean, some of the, a lot of the modern cars, Ford or not Ford, they're going with like sequential setups, but some people don't like them on the classic car, so you can get them to light up solid too. But like they're this. super bright, which you don't want anybody running into the back of this beautiful car. So it's, it's good stuff. All right. Um, somebody wanted to see the trunk. Do you, let's pop the trunk for him. It's, it's not bad. All right, well, we we got to see that base. Once we jump inside, I'll walk you through some of the interior stuff. But right now we're doing double entry. So make sure you're going to our website. Check out restomods.com. Get yourself a shirt, a hat. We're giving to give you two entries for every dollar that you spend in the shop right now and then when you join the membership for $8.95 you're going to get 20 entries as opposed to the normal 10 to win this car or a hundred thousand dollars in cash um I, I don't know if you've ever seen a hundred grand it's crazy the the trunk is nice and clean pretty simple we got a kicker amp it's got a sub back there um over here we got a rear mounted battery it's an optima um everything's like uh, undercoated in here so nice clean trunk just a nice clean trunk put whatever you want in it this isn't necessarily a grocery getter but you could get groceries in it it it'd do it yeah. should we take them for a ride yeah. you guys want to go for a spin all right as we get into the inside here a i'm going to clip in because this thing can do some serious damage <laughs> but check out this pistol grip shifter uh this actually wasn't available in 69 it wasn't it became available in 70 but we've upgraded to it on that we've gone ahead and partnered with idle hands again yeah they idle hands would work. we had a cheap plastic yeah, cheap plastic yeah grip. kind of a stock it should look like wood but it was it was plastic um and he custom made this out of mahogany and he's got some uh, blue stripes in there this car used to be bright blue like that so that's kind of uh an homage you know to what it used to be obviously we like it a lot better in black hopefully you do too but all right blue touch was cool and there's a ton of other touches that are just aw absolutely awesome you've got this suede center console with cup holders i know that's a tiny thing but i love a cup holder i don't want to drive around with a cup in my between my legs uh you have these power window controls here and this actually controls your power cutouts just take a listen real quick uh, wait, we're, we're passing a dog. I don't want to scare it. All right, ready? Yeah, it gets pretty loud. It's basically open headers with the cutouts open, so. Yeah, so this thing's super loud. We're gonna turn those back off and walk you through the, a couple of the other awesome upgrades in here. You obviously have a modern stereo. You have AC, all that is controlled right here, So, but it looks nice in the dash. We've got decoded digital gauges. We do have the original switches over there in the corner for the headlights and everything like that. Leather wrapped steering wheel. The final touch is these seats. They're out of a modern Camaro, or uh, sorry, a modern Charger. They've taken off the seat rests and reupholstered them. They have some suede and leather. It just looks nice. Even in those back seats, you can push throw somebody in the back and give them a good ride the doors have been completely rewrapped but you still have that nice little charger logo and uh that's pretty much all we got for you yeah. i mean there's a thousand upgrades in this thing but it could be yours 895 is going to get you 20 entries right now because we're doing double entries make sure you go right now because it's your best opportunity to win this car or a hundred thousand dollars in cash I'm gonna finish this out and let you guys just listen to this thing roar for a few minutes while we roll down the road.
start, but remember, double entry is going on right now. Sweepstakes ends April 30th, so make sure you get your entries while you can. Double entries only last a limited time, so go get your entries now.